Blood is in high demand right now. That's because there's a shortage, but not for too much longer. That's because WTHI TV and the American Red Cross have a plan to rebuild our local supply. But we need your help. News 10's Lily Jensen explains how you at home play a critical role. Do you want to be a hero? Well, you have the opportunity to do so. The American Red Cross and WTHI TV will be holding a Battle of the Badges blood drive next week to promote our local first responders in the need for blood. Will you choose to support the Terre Haute Police Department or would you rather donate to support the Terre Haute Fire Department? You'll make the choice, but no matter who you choose, your donation will go to a good cause. The Red Cross says a single blood donation can save more than one life. The executive director of the American Red Cross explains why this blood drive is so important. The ultimate goal is to collect as many units of blood as we can and to have people like our servicemen and women, our firefighters and our police officers and sheriff's deputies, everybody in the community coming together and recognizing just how important this is. Your donations will guarantee patients of all types the access to life-saving blood. According to the Red Cross, only 62% of the U.S. population is able to give blood and only 3% donate. These donations can only be made available through the kindness of volunteers like you at home. Let's take a look at all the details surrounding this upcoming Battle of the Badges blood drive. It's a two-day drive. It's taking place at the Vigo County YMCA gym on Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th. Make your appointment today by simply going to our website at WTHITV.com. Your donation will help either the Terre Haute Police Department or the Terre Haute Fire Department secure a trophy up for grabs. Coming up for you, new at the top of the hour, you'll hear from the Terre Haute Police Department and the Terre Haute Fire Department. They both want your blood donation.